Hi everyone, I'm going to show today how to make the vacuum pack teddy into real size. This is how it will arrive to you. As you can see, it is fully vacuumed pack. This will make it smaller and easy to transport. That is why it is packed like this. You can find an instruction leaflet in the package. Please follow the instruction there. What it actually says is to open the outer package and leave the teddy for around 24 hours. This is how it will look like after 24 hours. As you can see, it is not fully puffed yet. Legs look like they need more filling. Same with the body and its head. This is mainly because filling inside is also vacuumed with packaging but squeezed and packed that is why it does not look puff it will need some help to come to its real puffs look next i will show how to relax the filling and get the teddy into its full puff state let's turn it around and unzip the teddy as i mentioned it has all the filling it needs First, I'm going to take out the filling inside the body. There is so much filling here. I'm not going to do the body first, so I'm keeping them aside. Just remember to keep filling separate from each part. It will make it easy for you when you are refilling the teddy. Then take out the filling inside the left leg. This teddy bear is 6 feet, that means 180 centimeters tall, so there is so much filling here. Okay, all the filling is removed now. Here is all the filling inside one leg. See, they are vacuumed and packed together. It's not soft because of the packaging process. What you have to do is take one big filling and break it into small parts like this. This way you can lose the vacuum filling. I'm just finishing off with the final part of the leg. As you can see, it is more loose filling now and about three times puffer than how it used to be. This is a very simple process to make our teddy looks puff again. I'm done with breaking filling into smaller parts and it is time to fill it back. Put all the filling back into the leg. You can see it is nicely forming into its puff shape. This same process needs to repeat for the other parts of the teddy. I'm not going to do all the parts on the video, but you know what to do. Left leg is finished now. You can clearly see the difference between two legs. Left leg is nicely puffed and the right one not that so. I have completed all the parts now and just finishing the body part. Sit back and it's ready. This is the final look of the teddy bear. Thank you for watching.